a Royal Marine and a female soldier have been killed in Helmand province in Afghanistan. The Ministry of Defence said they died after being injured while on patrol in the Nare Suraj district yesterday. Their families have been told the circumstances surrounding the British troops' deaths are still not clear. Let's Thank you. The creation of a viable state in Afghanistan may not be achievable, according to a report by MPs. There should be more protection for young people who work in the entertainment industry, according to a former children's minister. Tim Loughton told Breakfast earlier that in the wake of the Jimmy Savile allegations, he's planning to put a private member's bill to the House of Commons as a matter of urgency. Families with a large number of children could have their benefits capped, the Work and Pension Secretary is expected to warn today. A man is reported to have been killed as Hurricane Sandy sweeps across Jamaica. The cash Two British Olympians have had their medals stolen from a party in central London. There are Alex Park. Archbishop Desmond Tutu is due to meet people in Wales who are involved in projects that help nations in Africa today. The, Nobel the computer giant Microsoft is launching a radical overhaul of its Windows computer software later today. Windows 8 is designed to help the firm catch up with rivals in what's been described as a key moment in the company's history. Barack Obama has admitted that he failed to connect with Americans during his first presidential debate. The American president... Eleven gorillas living in Kent will become the first captive family group released into the wild. Could we finally be getting some good news with regards to the economy? We'll be hearing those official figures a little later on this morning. And Steph is finding out uh, hands-on. See you shortly. Thank you. Time now, 16 minutes past eight. Coming up on the programme, we're at the House of Commons to find out what a dog's life politics can be. We can ask him, can't we? He'll be here a little later on on the sofa. Alex has the weather for us now. Morning, Alex. Morning. Good morning. Time now, 8.20. It's now nearly four weeks since April Jones went missing from her home in Mid Wales. The five-year-old's disappearance sparked, of course, a huge search with police from forces across England and Wales drafted in to try and find her. One man, Mark Bridger, has now been charged with April's murder, but the search still goes on. Jenny Hill is in McHuntleth for us right now this morning. Morning, Jenny. What's going on today? Any for the moment, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, coming up, the BBC News Channel has the latest news from home and abroad. But here on Breakfast. Right now, let's catch up on the news, the travel and the weather where you are. Ford is expected to announce later today that it's to shut its transit van factory in Southampton. The closure of the company... Hours. For, oh yes, for hour after hour after hour. Why aren't you here, you know? Now... Now you're in the great city of Salford, so it's not as easy for me to pop in. But even when you were at Television Centre yeah. in London... That's a famous incident, wasn't it? A yeah. walkout. Yeah. John Knott was the defence. I'm sure listening and watching political interviews... Um, do they answer the questions, <laughs> Nick? And why do they appear not to? Well, I think the question that your viewers really want to know the answer to... Yes. Did you see what I did there? Isn't it? Because there'll probably be stories you can tell your... I don't know, your children yeah. in years to come... That aren't in there. But Brilliantly every morning say, what do people at home watch and what do they want me to ask? Running Street, the inside story of power, politics and the media is out right now. Let's take a moment to have a look at the weather now with Alex. Now, we've been talking about the economy this morning, of course, those GDP figures coming out in the next hour or so. Also hearing about fishermen in Yorkshire, about the lobster market and maybe what that tells us about the European economy. Yes, they're looking to their counterparts in Scotland for help in setting up a lobster hatchery to help boost business. Our reporter, Paul Murphy. Now, she's one of the world's most successful crime writers with 100 million book sales to her name. Patricia Cornwall's novels are even thought to have inspired hit American shows like CSI. Her latest book, The Bone Bed, is her 20th title to feature her signature character, the crime-solving chief medical examiner, who is, of course, Kay Scarpetta. The character could soon be about to make her film debut with Angelina Jolie. We'll find out about that in a moment. Uh, with her taking the lead role, very... She didn't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted it back now. should have kept it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the message out there. Um, oh, how yeah. many times have you sung that song? Very, as the headlines, uh, 60s gold tour continues across the UK until December. Thanks, Jim. That's it from us. Back tomorrow at six. Yes, yeah, so we'll be joined by two music legends, David Essex on the sofa and also Jim Kerr, frontman of Simple, Simple Minds. Take care, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>